Hi, I'm Elga Valovirta, and this video is about Marshall AJVM 410H 100 watt tube amplifier. Okay, yes indeed, uh, I was lucky enough to get this amplifier just a couple of hours ago uh, from one of my subscribers. Uh, thank you Christian for uh, loaning me this amp so that I can check it out and do this video. Before we going any further, uh, let's watch a video of a song I wrote for this video about the amplifier and on the song I used all four channels. So let's watch the video first and then come back and let's go through the amp more detailedly and what sounds I used on the song. Okay, yeah, that was the song. Like I said, I used all four channels. Um, the amp might look a bit complicated because there's lots of knobs, lots of channels, but basically there's four channels, like kind of like four different amplifiers, and each of those channels has three different modes, green, yellow, and red, or green, orange and red, and the, the green is the less gainier, uh, and then orange and the red is the uh, most gainier. So, the main riff I on the left guitar, which I filmed myself while I played, and, and the lead guitar, I used the OD1 channel, which is kind of like JCM 800, especially on this green mode. So without, and yeah, I, I boosted that with a super overdrive. So without the super overdrive, yeah, we are in that JCM 800 world, definitely. And then, when I kick on the overdrive... Yeah, so then when you press the mode button, you get different 
uh, uh, gain stages. So <laughs> I think the red and uh, yellow or orange one were uh, a little bit mushy, at least with these settings that I have now. I, I really like the OD1 and the green mode, which is kind of replicates my all-time favorite amp, a JCN 82203. Okay, so that was the left rhythm sound. And the right rhythm sound, I used a OD2 channel, the orange slash yellow mode. And I didn't use boost that with a super O drive, so it was just this, and it sounds like this. Compared to the OD1, this is in general a bit nastier. Uh, the mid frequency, I guess, it's a little bit lower. What what this mid frequency, mid, mid volume knob does, and and uh, there's that kind of like that really kind of aggressive um, high frequencies. And, and uh, with this channel, the Super Overdrive didn't really work that well. So there's that... Well, there was a lot of gain now, but th those high frequencies that just... You know, so I think this channel uh, works perfectly well without an overdrive, because it's really aggressive you know, in the first place. And then the other modes. There I can maybe use a super overdrive. Well, there's this kind of this, you know, that OD2 channel doesn't like overdrive, at least not the SD1. But uh, this yellow, yellow mode, I, 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 I like. And compared to the OD1 with a super overdrive. Uh, yeah, definitely OD1 channel, my favorite, and super old drive. <coughs> okay, then uh, uh, what I used on the clean parts, I used the clean channel, and uh, let's switch a guitar. I use my used my Tokai Stratocaster, and the left guitar, which I filled myself while I recorded, I used the clean channel and the yellow mode, and I had a Boss Chorus Ensemble in there, and also the built-in reverb that this has, and I have a Bass DD7 digital delay in the effect loop, what I used also, so it's like this. Very nice clean sound, so the, the clean part goes like this. And the right channel, I used the crunch channel, and there the yellow mode, and it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
so it's like a you know a little bit overdriven sound like okay uh let's see how these channels sound with a uh, Les Paul because I, I think uh, what's cool with this amp is that you kind of have your like your different Marshall amps in there so let's channel one and now I need to decrease the gain a bit since I have the active pickups with the chorus really good clean channel quite similar than what the JCM 2000 triple super lead has which I have that amp I own one so uh, and then there's a uh, different modes cool then the crunch channel it's kind of like uh, if I had the chorus it's it's in that 800 territory so you can get from total clean to that you know JZM 800 star sound and uh, let's say and different modes overdrive on almost all also totally clean cool and uh, what else you know well the reverb is is uh, it's reverb you know I it's okay, it's cool. And there's resonance and presence knobs, uh, two master volumes, uh, two different effect loops, uh, and such. Uh, <coughs> really, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> really versatile amp, and reminds me a lot of uh, of my my JCM two thousand triple super lead, which has three channels you know clean kind of crunch and then the 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 crunch channel which is kind of like your 800 and then the <clears throat> modern uh high gain channel which you know this this od2 so i guess this is just an evolution of uh, of the triple super lead and if i've understood correct this doesn't have the certain flaws that triple super lead has which you usually need to fix or you need to take the amp to a, a dedicated amp technician like I did to fix those those certain ground I don't remember but there was some flaws uh, of the amp which I think this doesn't have so uh, conclusion very easy to dial it didn't take me long to, you know, figure out all the... Because there's a... This food switch, which is programmable, works just with a cable. It didn't take long for me to, to program it. You know, like, when I switch to clean channel, it adds the reverb and puts the effect loop on. Same with the, with the crunch channel and then the rhythm channel. Nothing on, no reverb, no, no effect loop. And, and the same with the OD2 channel. Uh, 
yeah, it's it's a Marshall. I like it, and uh, I encourage you to take this out. Hey, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.